Coming soon as you're driving north on I-29 toward the North Dakota border, a new location will be available to stop and fuel up. It will also offer some rich history and showcase artifacts. Yeah, tonight Beth Warden introduces us to one of the members of the Sisseton Wapaton Ayate tribe working towards a new stop for travelers. This room is my probably my favorite place in the whole tribe, if not in South Dakota. Sisseton Wapaton Oyati tribal member Tamara St. John enjoys showing the many items on display in the preservation room on the Lake Traverse Reservation. What you see are things that people brought to us um, from the surrounding communities. There are things that have come home that maybe originally were here. Um, these artifacts tell amazing, amazing stories. As a curator for the tribe, she shares the sentiment behind the items. And the idea that this was given to him as a gift, I think says a lot. To see everything now, it takes a few minutes drive off the interstate, but soon those items will be just off the exit sign near the town of Sisseton. Our elders that had envisioned a visitor center, an arts or heritage center, um, out by the interstate to tell our own story, um, to share our history, make those partnerships, friendships with the community around us and then beyond. The displays will honor their ancestors and their survival. St. John hopes the displays and the stories will promote a feeling of friendship and appreciation. Leave um, more knowledgeable and feeling like it was a wonderful experience and completely different than maybe what they had thought or heard. A mutual respect and understanding, I really think it makes the world a better place. Near Sisseton, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now.